gonna mug me. I might gonna mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Peace and Marathon. Download Veely now. Jason and Amber are pretty in pink. The bridesmaids are wearing a pink dress, of course. <laughs> but black clouds are brewing on the horizon. I'm just asking you to wear a friggin' dress. Can Jane find the silver lining? Nothing like key family members to ruin your wedding, is it? I just can't, I'm sorry. Or will she give in to her dark side? No, you're waiting for me, it's Jane. Jane? <laughs> I'm marrying Amber because I love her to pieces. I love her sense of humor and her personality. Just everything about her, her smile, her eyes. Just brings a smile to my face every time I stare at her. Jason, he is a funny, a funny, funny guy. He's always there to make me laugh. When we first met, it was just like, wow. I actually, I felt like I met my soulmate. But with the wedding eight days away, Amber's choice of bridesmaid is becoming more of a stalemate. So I was thinking for flowers, like you were saying, putting that table thing over here, moving the other one over. My sister is a bridesmaid, not by choice. When people ask her, oh, your sister's getting married, aren't you excited? No, I don't care. Yeah, but did you see the register? Book, the, thing that the thing that matters the most to me is that all the family just gets along for one day. Oh, to dream. But of course, it doesn't help that Jason's mom is having emo issues as well. Mom, Amber and I came over so we can ask if it'd be possible for you and dad to take a picture together. No. My parents are divorced. For my photographs, I would love to have a picture with my parents, both of them, on either side of me. But it would mean so much to us if you could Sorry, just no. take something no. like that. For the rest of your life, you don't have to do anything ever with him again. Just this yeah. one day. Just like to end it off, obviously you guys, you know, nothing's gonna happen. Just do it and that's it. It's like, I'm pleading with you to do this. I'm sorry. I'm really stressing out about the whole day. When I think everyone keeps saying, just, just, it should go nice. It's not a happy memory right now. That's what I'm gonna remember later on. Brush off those gray clouds and put on a cheery face, cause your fairy godmother is here with three warm and fluffy wedding wishes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> so, you got me. What's the matter with your wedding? I know I'm missing a lot of things. Like? We're seeing if we can find a pink limo. Yeah. Because I, w I have to top <laughs> everything off. <laughs> Oh, imagine, Barbie would be so pleased. Keith's even wearing pink. I'm wearing a pink tie and a pink vest. She wanted to have oh, a pink tie. Really no, no, no. Bad. My favorite color is pink, as you can tell. <laughs> Roka, are you gonna wear your pretty pink dress? Everything around me I like to make pink, to make me happy all the time. Look at that. Pink, 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 and pink. Right, I'm building a picture here. Don't forget the rainbows and sparkly unicorns. What else? My sister. Yeah, she's a maid of honor? Yeah, well, I guess, sure. Yeah. I don't talk to her at all. She doesn't talk to me, we don't have a so relationship. Why did, you why did you choose her as a? For my parents, because my mom said that she really wanted, because I only have one sister, and she said, it's a once in a lifetime thing, you have to, you know, can you please choose your sister? So I did it for my mom. It wasn't by choice. <laughs> I'm doing everything for other people. And then we also have his mother. <laughs> I'd love my parents to take a picture together, and I've asked my mom before to take a picture, she won't do it. Nothing like key family members to ruin your wedding, is it? You said it. Now, why are you getting upset? You always have in your mind, everything goes right. Everything, there's no problems with anybody in the family. Everyone could just get along for one day. I feel now as though I've got a much better grasp on what I'm trying to achieve now with your wedding. I've got to go and write a plan. Will Jane's plan be enough for a perfect pink wedding? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of stuff. What I'm trying to do here is get you in the frame of it's Amber and Jason's wedding. Amber and Jason's wedding. So what personalizes this whole 
day to you. So she tries to unlock the mystery that is their wedding. Where's your personalities? Weddings are a personal affair. I want you to write personal vows to each other. Why are we getting married? What are we promising each other? What are our future plans? Do they incorporate a twisted sister by chance? Your sister Rebecca. Yeah. What does she think the role of a bridesmaid is? Is it just putting the dress on, standing on some photos, and eating a meal? Sorry, what's the difference between that and a guest? I've put in big capital letters and underlined in red. <laughs> Set the scene for the day. What is it that you want people to remember your wedding for? I thought James was going to say a couple of things that we needed to do, but now it's actually a lot. <laughs> As you know, I'm a fairy godmother. <laughs> Amber, you have a lot of things on here that you do need help with. Jason, you might be the strong, silent rock standing behind her, wearing pink. <laughs> but I'm going to give you three wishes. Okay. It just seems like now we need Jane's help more than anything. Yeah. Their family and friends need to support them. No excuses. This is my mom and me. My dad. But this means so much to you. Oh, you walk yeah. past these how many times a day? Mm -hmm. So this, this, thing, this is your family that are going to play such a huge part in your wedding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yet they're all upsetting you. This is your wedding day, and you're going to do this only once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any good, therefore, I can do, or any kindness that I can show, says a lot there, doesn't it? Funny that you've put that in the middle of all these people. Yeah, I'm just thinking about it now, you know. <laughs> yeah, you, you do know? things subconsciously. That's what you want from everybody on your wedding day. That's what you want them to be, mm -hmm. don't you? You want them to be kind to you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With seven days to go, Amber tries to get her black sheep of a sister over to the pink side. What about the fact that all the bridesmaids I want to be wearing the pink dress? How does she feel about that? I want to ask her. Rebecca? I didn't want her as my bridesmaid. My mother asked me, so I did it for my mom. Even though you and I don't get along, and we never have, I still have you as a bridesmaid. Aw, that's nice. I'm just asking you to wear a friggin' dress. The bridesmaids are wearing a pink dress, of course. <laughs> we can't even do this just for me, as your only sister, but for mom, too. That that's thing cool. looks like someone barfed up pink and just threw it on a dress. The name of the color on the dress was cotton candy. You're not selling it, Mom. So what? Cotton candy is meant to eat. It's not meant to be worn as a dress. You are wearing it. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. You can't Rebecca. make me wear it on my body. I'm not doing it. Rebecca, get back here. Call Jane. With seven days to go, Amber and her mom are stuck under a little black cloud called Rebecca. Hello. Um, I'm having a problem with my sister. I would like you to please get my sister to wear the bridesmaid's dress. OK, Amber, leave it with me. Dueling sisters? That's never good. So the next day, Jane makes a visit to the shadowy side. Amber has asked me for a wish that I don't know whether I can do, because this is very pink, it's very flouncy. This is a bridesmaid's dress. Certainly not fit for a goth girl. But how do I get you to wear it? Don't really see that happening. I am who I am, and I'm not going to like change for anybody, and like especially when it comes to her and my relationship. Role of bridesmaid, it's supporting your sister. It's making sure she looks nice on the day. You know, is her train right? Is her veil right? Does she need any help with anything? But she feels that you don't like her. No. You don't like her? No. Not exactly two peas in a pod, are they? And there's obviously got to be some common ground in there that the two of you could find. Because one thing that you'll miss out, I think, Rebecca, as the years go on, there's nothing better than an older sister. Because as you get older, they're your best friend. Now, at the moment, you are poles apart, poles apart. You've got the dress. How do I get you into it? Okay. Trying to understand, it'd be like me trying to ask you to dress like me. What, goth? 
If you want me to wear that, you have to dress like me. I don't know anything about goths. Do you know anything about goths and emo? Who? I could do that. You'd have to show me. Is that a compromise? Yes. Let's see if I make a good goth. And with five days to the big day, our couple attempt to wow their vows. How's it going for you? I've got nothing. Well, you're writing your vows. You want everyone to hear, you know, you, you pledging whatever you want to, to me. So what are you writing then? I really want to hear it. This is, this is my poem. And I think it's really special. Okay. Roses are red, violets are blue. My vow to you is special, and so are you. That's just what you're going to write? Yes, I am. I took the time. I thought it was nice. I wrote it. No what problem. are you going to write? There's nothing even on your page. Yeah, but I'm not going to put something like that. Like, come on, seriously. Whatever, then. Do it all by yourself. I don't care. Oh. Clearly, he doesn't appreciate fine prose. The next day, Rebecca's dark plans unfold. Hey, Jane. This will be the last piece. Thank you. Ooh, dress like a goth? How hard can that be? Hey, Rebecca. What do you think? Did I make a good goth? Yeah. Yeah? Well, this is the look. So, is this the done deal then of now? Dressed as a goth? No. No? You have to stay like that the whole day. I've got so much to do today, Rebecca. I can't walk around like this all day. OK, so if I walk around like this all day, you'll, you'll be a bridesmaid all day. Is that a deal? Yeah. OK. Shake. Shake on it. I'll probably stab you with this. <laughs> I have to suffer through the wedding, like, the whole day in the dress, so I should, like, spend a little time in my, my shoes. Or at least in your claws and chains and fishnets. I look like Morticia. Cruella de Vil? She's got nothing on me. Where's those puppies? Back in Pinker Pastures, Jason and Amber try to find the song in their hearts. So what do you think about having music? Jane was saying, like, that would help us personalize it more, make it more us. You know all the pink, that's you, but that's for me. How about we have, like, a reggae band or something at the ceremony? Well, could they wear pink? A reggae band. A reggae band. How is it going to play when I walk down the aisle? I think, I think we really need to call Jane. Hi, Jane. How are you? Oh, you wouldn't believe where I am at the moment. I think we just thought of our second wish. Brace yourself, Jane. Um, our wish is to personalize the wedding and make it more ours. Yeah, we'd like you to find a personality in our wedding. All right, thank you, Jane. So what did she say? She said it's a big wish, but she's going to do it for us. With three days to go, Jane calls in a favor from her undercover source. Debbie. I need your PPI services. Psst. Debbie. Sorry, I'm waiting for someone. No, you're waiting for me. It's Jane. Jane? <laughs> what do you need from me? We need to put a tail on a couple because we need to find their personality. Right. Time for these dicks to get to work. <laughs> this is exciting. Jane's gone undercover to find out things about Amber and Jason that they don't even know about themselves. There they are right there. Do we need to take off? <laughs> are they going to see no, me? No, no, it's OK, Jane. They'll see yeah. me. They'll oh, see just me. Relax. Just relax. OK, grab some pictures now. And they obviously love their dog. Mm -hmm. They have any other animals? Cats, dogs, fish. So there's one thing we found out. They love animals. So what else do you know about the couple? Oh, well, this is why I'm here to try and find out something more about them. Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll find something. Yeah, yeah, let's know. What about if we do something like, hmm, the church set up, there's an organist, there's a piano, and that's it. How about we a reggae band? Stir it up a little bit. No, I said that I wanted Canon and D, but I don't want no reggae band because then how are they going to play Canon and D when I walk down? I don't know what to do. Now the music we need help with too now.
So it would seem that Jane has fulfilled her double duty. She's been a goth from dawn till dusk and found the personality that will make Amber and Jason's wedding. So how do you think we did? I think we did really, really well. We think we've got everything we need. Perfect. The next day, our couple's quest for the perfect pink wedding continues. I know we do not have everything ready. It's frustrating trying to figure out how we're going to do this. How can I help you? We have been looking for a limo everywhere, a pink one. Pink? Yes. <laughs> it needs to be pink. pink. <laughs> well, actually, I've got everything else but that. I do have something that's very, very unique. Do you want to go look? Sure. OK, come on, kids. <laughs> now, this is a 1971 silver Daimler Jaguar. And it's from England, and it was in the Queen's livery service. Go on in, see how you feel. I'll give you a moment. So what do you think? I, it's, it's a very nice limo, but it's still not what we wanted. Whatever, it's good enough for the Queen, it's gotta be good enough for you. But it's not, it is not good enough for me. I need the pink. We were just looking at limos, um, but I really need your help. Can you get us from our wedding in style and pink? Something stylish in pink. I don't know, do they do pink helicopters? No, I'm trying to find something very unique. Yeah, but what I'm looking for is a princess wedding, you know, a Cinderella pink wedding. No, I don't want black or white. Pink. Do tanks come in pink? I've got it. I've got it. Oh, I don't know why I didn't think of it before. Eureka! Amber and Jason's wedding has gone from cotton candy land to root canal. Whatever, then. Do it all by yourself. I don't care. It's not a happy memory right now. But their fairy godmother is easing the pain and sweetening the deal with three wedding wishes. Wish one, get the non-conformist to be a good sis. Please get my sister to wear the bridesmaid's dress. Wish two, turn the ordinary into extraordinary. We need to find their personality. And for wish three, arrive in a haze of perfect pink. It is not good enough for me. I need the pink. Today's the day of the wedding, and it's time for Jason to suit up with his dad. The one thing that concerns me about today is something breaking out, like either be a fight or an, an argument, disagreement, something like that. That will make me upset. Meanwhile, over at Amber's house, the moment of truth has arrived. I'm coming here now to check up on Rebecca. This is it. I even got pictures taken so that you can see <laughs> that I definitely did stay in that outfit all day. In fact, I quite liked it by the end of the day. So are you going to put the bridesmaid's dress on? Da, 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 da. <laughs> there she is. Oh, she looks <laughs> nice. She's in the dress. <laughs> she looks fabulous. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Mum's smiling. Wish come true for Mum as well, I think. Uh -huh. Yes. That, that's a happy face, actually. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful hair, beautiful makeup, beautiful dress. Looks really pretty, everything all put together. It's just like, just suffer through it, so it's fine. <laughs> Well, that's Rebecca taken care of. Now I'm off to the church to see how everything else is shaping up. Surprise, surprise. Oh, goody, surprise. We love surprises. When I went off on this personality quest with Debbie, I didn't really know what I was going to find. But I found two people who loved animals and music. How did I bring that all together? <laughs> I know Amber was nervous about walking down the aisle, but when she heard the music, the biggest smile on her face. Jason was like, where is that coming from? I wasn't quite sure how Rebecca was going to be as a bridesmaid. She did her sister proud. To love and to church. To share my life whether better or worse, in sickness and in health. I give you this ring as a symbol of all that we have promised and all that we shall share. From this day forward, 
for as long as we both shall live. What, no roses are red? That's music to Jason's ears. I now pronounce you husband and wife. They had a beautiful, beautiful wedding. <laughs> Amber and Jason, you said, help us stamp our personality on this wedding. What did I find out? I found out that you were both animal lovers. I couldn't think of a better way than this. Doves, dove release. I really yeah, liked yeah. the doves. I really, Perfectly really liked it. Perfectly, flew back at us. It was, and I was like, oh, okay. But that's what made it fun. <laughs> I took a few liberties with the transport wish. Animals and a pink carriage. How perfect is that? Is this pink enough? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is your fairy tale. This is your princess wedding. I couldn't give you a pink limo. This is far more stylish. I totally it. First the doves and then the horse and buggy, like wow. Inside the church with the violin, that was beautiful. The Honestly. three of them, oh. like I thought it was going to be a pink limo. And no, but that's better. so much better. Like who could say they actually left the church with a horse and buggy after they get married? Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And from one loving moment to hopefully another loving memory. I would love to have a picture with my parents, both of them, on either side of me. But it would mean so much to us if you can Sorry, just no. take something. Yeah. How many wishes am I granting today? Mum and Dad gonna stand together? And yes, success. Oh good having my mum and dad in the same photograph. It was, it was nice. I didn't think that they would ever do that. Yeah, and they did it, which made me happy. I think Jane did an awesome job adding to our wedding. It was beautiful. So, I've dressed up as a medieval knight. I've been a Serbian dancer, I've gone butch. Now, I'm a goth. When do I get back to being a wedding planner? You know, me? <laughs> <laughs>